What is going on, my super sandwiches? Rhymestyle here, and again, this is gonna be kind of a new setup for these unboxings. But I got this courtesy of the homie Afro Senju, who was at New York Comic Con a couple days ago, and they actually sold this early. And I've been waiting for this for um, a couple years now. The reason why a couple years is because they initially released this back in like 2012, I want to say, and it was a really bad figure. In fact, Anybody that has owned the original figure will tell you that they probably sold theirs because it was very, very valuable. I think Nano sold this for like 400, 500 bucks, but it was a bad figure. And to also kind of compare the original mold, I did uh, bring back this Goku, which has been released a thousand times now. But I'll show you like what I mean by bad figure. Although I can't really show you just because due to the fact that I don't have the original to compare it to. But if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. The coloring was bad, the face mold was horrible, and of course they used the infamous uh, Goku mold that they used a thousand times now. Although this is not what it looks like. Uh, it, it was basically this, but more darker boo-boo orange. Think poop orange, that. But this right here is the correct way to re-release this figure, and they did it with a blast. So, first things first, I'm going to point out something that's kind of annoying about these figures, is they keep advertising the effects. Now, I get it. Like, a lot of collectors like to buy these and just kind of like leave them up on their shelves or uh, different display cases and stuff with different aura effects. But... Since when was it cool to re to introduce basically uh, figures DLC? Like literally, to get this aura, you have to buy it separately, and it costs like 15, 20 bucks. So it's like, what's the point? Now, granted, I think when you buy the actual aura parts, you get multiple different auras that you can use, such as like charge up and different like wavy parts. But still, like if you advertise it with the aura and then don't include it in the actual figure, I think it takes away from the actual experience of owning it. So I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it, but I will say uh, outside of this garbage. This is awesome, and I think actually, matter of fact, the original one that was released a couple years ago didn't have the the Halo as well, which I did open it once just to kind of look at it. Um, the Halo looks really, really nice. So what I further to do, let's pop this bad boy open and see what you get inside it. Ah, it puts it aside, and yeah. Now, the first thing you'll notice is there is a stand, which is kind of like a stand right now, but mainly the most important part about that stand is to hold the actual figure out, which I'll show you why in a second, because uh, make a bunch of noise real fast, don't mind me, do that. Um, because of the hair and how it's like pushed in the back of his uh, body, he will fall. That's why they have to actually be required to have this stand included, which I'll pop out here real fast uh, and show you what I'm talking about when I have the Goku out of the box as well. Come on, pop out. Why you do this to me? Why is every person that always does unboxings, me included, just struggle in these openings? Okay, here we go. So this is what you actually get. You'll notice you get uh, the, the, let's call them the neutral, like we're about to fight hands which are these over here on, the, on both sides. You got the Kamehameha hands. You got, uh, this, is the, this is actually a first. They gave you both um, directions or both hands, left and right, left and right, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All for the instant transmission. Usually they've always only included, I think I wanna say the right hand, but this is the first where they actually include a bow, so you can have it with left hand or right hand. Then of course you got the, the standard like open palm, I hope I didn't ruin my green screen, open palm uh, key blast, and finally, the. Other open palm. Wait, this is open palm. This is kind of close palm, up, right? I don't know. You got this hand, and then you got this hand right here. And of course, uh, the different faces, which I'll pop out here in a second so you can see. But first, let me show you the actual figure itself. There it is. Look at that. This looks so damn good. And now I have to compare. Let me just pop off this freaking plastic. Um, by the way, I'm wearing like a, a light shirt. I might be partially invisible in my actual green screen. I didn't really think about that before I started recording. But this is what I was talking about. Watch this. I'll just. Bam, fall. See, you need something to hold it up, which is why this stand is going to be so important later. But first, I want to compare is this. Let's put this right here. And let's put Goku in a more neutral phase. Oh, not phase, but um, neutral stance as well. So you can see what I'm talking about. Look at the difference in uh, the mold from a couple years ago, which is this one right here, to this one. This is so much better. Like everything around it is just looks better look at this even his crotch looks better like that tells you like how much they've improved and like I said I pointed out every single time I buy figures like um, I was a big fan of these not to say that these are bad it's just that they made them a lot better compared to uh, how they are today which I mean again you almost want to improve your product which I you know applaud Tamashi greatly for what they do but like as far as you know flexibility they, they can do all your favorite fa um, poses of course you got the, the dragon fist grr, and the face is just right I mean even this face is kind of like it was good for what it was, but like it wasn't perfect. But the newer faces that they've been doing for all these figures have been just incredible. And I, I love the smirk. And of course, here's the halo as well, which looks really, really nice. It's like, it's almost like it's floating there. Of course, you got the little invisible plastic. And I think this could probably pop off. Maybe, let's find out. Watch me break it on camera. Oh, it does pop off. 
where'd it go? Okay, it does pop off. In before, it actually doesn't pop off, and I just actually broke it, but whatever. It does pop off, and you can pop it back on, so you can actually go into Angel Goku, or you can just stick to um the Alive Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Okay, so let's actually put them all aside. You sit right here, just like that. There you go. Just take a chill pill for a second, and you can just lay dead there. Let's look at the actual faces, because the faces also look really, really good. Pull all these out. Put these to the side. I believe this figure is like 60 bucks. I mean, you're, they're, they're your standard... 50, 60 bucks. They're your standard um, SH figure arts prices. Although, you, you could argue this one might be a little bit more, just due to the fact that it's more plastic. I know the Nappa figure that they released was like 70 bucks, and I did not choose to get that, just due to the fact that I don't really like Nappa as a character, and I'm not paying $70 for a Nappa figure at that. There's his face. Uh, this is kind of like his, his rage face. Like, I don't know, you can say, it's powering up or something. Or like when he's... This is actually the perfect representation of when you step on Lego bricks, on a Lego brick, and it's like, ah, don't want to scream and wake everybody up. That's what that face is right there. So that's a good one. Put this to the side. Uh, the second one is, you kind of got him just looking to the side, which is supposed to be, it's just supposed to be first transform. It's kind of like, like that. Uh, I, if I remember to edit a picture and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, which something that's a nice little touch that that Tamashi adds in when they do their figures. And of course, you got the blast face where he's blasting the Kamehameha because you gotta yell. I mean, or actually, you can even argue that this is the charge face. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the face that they use in the back when he's charging. It is in in the DLC <laughs> the DLC photo. Where's it at? Over here. See right there. He's, uh, he's charging that one. Put that to the side. But overall, though, it is a solid figure for. Um, how much they've changed and grown over the years. I'm a big fan. Does the hair actually move? The hair's kind of wavy. I don't remember if the actual hair of the original was kind of like, well, you don't want to completely like move it and bend it, but I'm pretty sure the original hair was very static. Like, it just didn't move at all. Uh, but then again, I could be wrong because like I said, I never owned it. But uh, let's actually pop this out real fast and assemble this, the stand. And like I said, this is going to be your key to actually holding it up because of the hair on the back. It's going to weigh back and it will fall if you try to just leave it up without one. Unless, of course, you balance it next to the wall, but in which case, that's going to limit how you're going to leave a pose. Um, I'm debating. Do I do a charge pose? And I want you guys to comment down below. When I put this in the back of my set, do I leave it in the charge pose or do I do the dragon fist? Which actually, you can see the differences over here. So we got the dragon fist obviously right there. And then you got the charge post up there. Which one would you guys do? Or you can even do the standard Kamehameha. Which one would you guys do? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, if I remember, I might do actually a poll up here. And then whatever you guys vote for is what I'm going to keep it in. But putting up the stand is pretty simple. It's just as, as, as any other figure arts figure. You put it in the back. Put this over here. Bend it like yeah. And then here we go. Put it around his waist. And look at that. He is ready to be posed however you want. And he can actually stand um, exactly how he's supposed to. And before he actually falls. Oh no! The, the thing actually fell off fail okay there we go there it is look at that bam super saiyan 3 goku so yeah um do i recommend it definitely i think the last one was scouter vegeta which is kind of like indifferent about i like scouter vegeta but he felt so i don't know i think just because it's the saiyan saga and, and like we're always kind of biased towards the saiyan saga because everything becomes so much cooler later um i'd say definitely if you're a fan of goku especially like super saiyan 3 this is a must buy, especially, especially if you missed uh, the original release. If you have the original release, hold on to it because even though it is a crappy design, it's still highly limited and it's probably only like so many in the world. Um, so it's more of a collector's value than anything. But this is so much better. Can we actually put on some more hands? Let's try it. Just switching out his hands. Let's do the, the, uh, the infamous Kamehameha. Poop that in there. Poop that in there. Pop that in there. Do this. Do that. Uh, like, yeah. So just like any other figure arts, it's really easy to put the uh, stuff on. Let's replace his face, actually. I haven't even tried that yet. It just pops off. Uh, unlike the other figures where the, the hair piece is separate, this is all connected. Which makes it a bit easier. I like that more. Let's just do... We'll do this one. We'll do the Kamehameha or the charge one. There we go. And of course, the infamous pose. There we go. Like, these are so cool. I freaking love these. And it, uh, like, every time I, I see the newer figures that we have uh, today, Compared to like what I grew up with, I grew up with the original figures that had like the legs couldn't move and the faces are all horrific. But we loved those back in the day. We loved those. So like, it's cool to see how much these have grown and how much better to keep getting as time goes. But it's it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth the purchase if you have uh, an extra like 50 bucks laying around, which is a lot of money for a figure. But remember, these are more collectibles than anything. Now I do want to point out because once again they are reproducing these in much higher numbers than they have been over the course of the last couple years with the original figures. I don't know if this is going to be one of those situations where this will sell out really, really fast and you can't get it ever again. Because they've been much smarter about managing uh, 
the, uh, the the demand with the figures as opposed to how it was a couple years ago where if you didn't buy in the first release, that's it. The next time you see them, they're like 300 400 bucks. By the way, speaking of which, Frieza was also revealed at one of the more recent shows that he's going to come out at some point as well. So to those who missed out on the original Frieza, you get another chance. But yeah. Back to this though. Definitely worth it. I say uh, go for it. If you don't want to get it, uh, feel free to chime in down below why you wouldn't want to get it. But other than that, uh, again, compared to the last one, like, look at this. The color is right. The molding is better. Everything is just better. Two thumbs up from me. With that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to pose this. So in the comment section below, let me know. Kamehameha, Dragon Fist, or just Charge Post. In fact, I'm going to try to remember to put in a, um, a poll in the top left corner. So feel free to vote as well. And based on what you guys vote for, I'm going to pose like that in the back of my set. Uh, even though I use green screen now. But you might see that set come back here and there. So just keep an eye for that in the near future. But for now, that is the end of the video. So let me know your thoughts on this mini review opening unboxing. I don't know what to call it. It's not really a fully in-depth review. I mean... Kind of is, but not really. Uh, in the comment section below. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Ryan Style. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.